I will say that there is magic in the presence that theater asks of its performers and the audience. It is the congregational element of it. You are in the same time and space as mm. the artists, and the artists feel the audience. It's not invisible, it's not a screen, it's not shot from a different time and you get to watch it at your convenience. You all agree to be here together at this time and space. Um, and that's kind of primal, old school humanity. You know, that's, that's civilization. Um, and I, I, I like to think of theater as this link to the very, the very origins of our humanity and um, culture, why human beings gathered together from the beginning around you know, the eponymous campfires to, to tell stories. And it is to learn, it is to learn how to live, how to be good people, how to learn from other people's mistakes, um, how to find beautiful things, um, how to know ourselves, know each other. These are fundamental questions that certainly Shakespeare's plays have you asking yourself, but all good plays approach one of them. And it's coming together um, uh, in the way that, that theater specifically can do as a live performing art that continues to inspire, continues to challenge, because you can't get away with things <laughs> if your audience is right there. Um, and uh, you know, honestly, I can kind of boil it down to there's always a, a, a moment or two in every play where there is a stillness evoked from a moment or a reveal or a line, a laugh um, that I, I know should be coming, um, or one of those gasps, and uh, that's why I do it. You don't actually get that from film and TV as much, but in, in theater, I can stand in the back of the theater and know, there it is, that's the moment, and we all got it, experienced it at once together. Um, and I think that that's, it's, it's, it's really um, amazing and meaningful. And it means that theater still works after thousands of years. Mm -hmm. It still works. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's, it's the same th for me. It's the, um, you know, I, I love that, that a performance is, is unique. It will, mm -hmm. you know, the actors on the stage and the audience in the house, the crew backstage, everybody calling the show from the booth, that performance is never going to be repeated. You're going to do the same show, you're going to say the same words, you're going to do the same blocking, they're going to call the same lights and sound and everything. But the audience is not the same. And I love that it that there's that alchemy in the theater of, I, I don't know, that, that I can't think of anything else that's like that, mm -hmm. that you, 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 make this contract with a couple hundred, five hundred, six hundred, eleven hundred strangers mm -hmm. that you're gonna you're gonna tell a story and you're gonna go on a journey together and you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry, you're going to maybe learn something about yourself. Mm -hmm. That just seems like the most improbable thing that it still happens, you know? And uh, feel I just feel so lucky to be a part of it that you we get to actually do that it is a privilege it is a privilege and you know I've it's like I've done TV and film stuff and that's fun but it's not the same mm -hmm. it just doesn't come close to that electricity mm -hmm. that is in in live theater and that you do you know we do sometimes we, with Shakespeare's place we're I can't tell you how many times I've seen Midsummer Night's Dream or Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> but it's never the same. All different. And I'm yeah. always different when I see it. Right. And so, and I learn something new, or I discover yeah. something, or I'm challenged by something, and you know that that just means we're human and we're alive. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a reminder. <laughs>